kind of rotations were a little bit different, and you, you never know how that's going to, uh, you know, how, that, how that's going to transpire. But I thought uh, um, you know, I, I was able to split some minutes up that needed to be split up, and, and uh, um, you know, I thought we came out and we were we were focused, um, you know, right from the start. Um, and each time, you know, we we got a 10, 12, 13 point lead. Um, if they made a little run at us, you know, we quickly stopped it and got, got ourselves back um, back on track. So those are always good things to see. Bradley seemed to, uh, tonight, have, was it more concerted effort for him to get into the paint? Is that again? Well, you know, he's, he's learning how teams are playing. You know? I mean, that's, you get, you know, you get in the legal couple of years and you got to put a, a scouting book on you. There's a lot of teams that are telling you you got to just run, make sure you run him off the line and don't give him a catch and shoot. shoot. So it's something that he's been working on that he's got to continue to work on. Um, and that's where he takes that next step, the development of, okay, if you want to play me that way, then I'm just going to hurt you with this, you know, a little one, two, three dribble into the pull-up. And um, if he can consistently get that, then he's going to be really hard to guard. Um, so. I think it's more what teams are trying to do to him than a concerted effort tonight to really focus on doing that. But if you talk about your thirty somethings, Kyle Harrington and Andre Miller's the minutes. Well they're getting better. You know, they're getting better. Um, Andre in particular, I can see his legs now getting a little bit more solid underneath him. Still he's still got you know, periods of where he gets, you know, that little, you know, hesitation. Um, but it's, he's getting better. Um, you know, Al, we just got to be careful with. You know, we want Al for the rest of the seven weeks we got here in the regular season, and, um, and so um, we've got. I've, I've got to be careful, especially with the injuries um, that we have. To uh, you know, I've got to bring Al along slow, and I, I didn't really want to go any more than 12, 13, 14 minutes on him tonight uh, uh, after he went seven minutes in Cleveland. So you know, we'll we'll see how he responds and where he's at as we move forward. Expect to have Gooden for the next game. What would you? What do you expect? We to signing? Get? Well, um, not yet. But I mean, uh, you you sitting up with Ernie? <laughs> <laughs> if you happen to <laughs> sign Gooden for the next game, <laughs> what would you expect <laughs> to get? From I just figured you might know something. I, I, you guys usually know before me anyway. Um, I'm sorry. What is the question? I was say, so uh, let's suppose you happen to sign Gooden. We're going to sign a big. Yeah. I don't know who exactly for sure yet. Um, if that's your question, um, so and hopefully we'll have him here tomorrow and get him kind of accustomed to what we're doing. Do you like what you've seen from Andre so far? Yeah, on, no question. I mean, the leadership is out the door. Um, you can already say if you're sitting close enough to the floor while he's out on the floor, you can hear him talking all the time. That's big for our second unit um, to stabilize those guys. And then getting Al back too, uh, as a veteran guy, helps. You know, just kind of make comfort um, is different. And so, yeah, I'm extremely um, pleased with what, what we've seen so far.